Alrighty team, we're back with another 12 theme ideas for you, this time for May, but first we're going in and just putting in the colour palettes. Picking the palette is kind of one of my favourite parts about deciding on a monthly theme. It's really just something I enjoy, especially when the palette has good contrast, which is what I've tried to do with the majority of these. But the palettes we have here are of course just suggestions. You do not have to use these specific colours if you want to go with these themes. But if you did want to use them, we have all of the specific pen colours listed in the description box. I've only used Tombows this time around, so it's nice and easy to know which colours are which. I list all of those in order of top to bottom. So for instance, for our first theme, it is 606, then 603, then 062, then 158, and then 173. Just like it's listed in the description box. Each of the theme ideas we have here for May come from some type of holiday or day of recognition or day of celebration that happens in May. And our first theme idea is irises, as related to Iris Day. I'm not super great at drawing flowers, so I opted to use my Faux Memo thermal printer to print off the decorative example for this one. The mini printer is super helpful for printing off black and white decorative and functional elements for my journal, in particular because it prints on sticker paper, so it makes it very easy to put those pieces into my notebook. I've used it for a couple of the theme ideas in this video, in particular for the ones that have elements that I find harder to draw, but you can of course draw irises in a more simplified but still pretty way. While the colour palette for this one was specifically chosen because it is typical for irises, it's also kind of giving me lavender lemonade vibes, which is something that I've been enjoying recently, though it's probably just because it's on my mind. But that would also be a fun theme. I don't think there's technically a lavender day in May, but it'd still be pretty cute. When it comes to using flowers as decoration in your journal, I think there are a couple of main ways that people typically like to do it. Either by just focusing on the flower itself and then kind of scattering that about the page, or it could be using the flower with the stems and the leaves and using that to decorate the edges of the page. Those are the most typical ways that I've seen, but of course you can do a combination of both. Flowers are also commonly used for wreath type designs on cover pages. And I think that you could do a really pretty specialized tracker with irises by doing different colors for different moods or completion of something, really depending on what the tracker was for. Our next theme idea is another plant related one, and that is a lemons or lemonade theme, which I guess kind of goes with the whole lavender lemonade mentioned from before. This is because both Lemon Day and Lemonade Day are celebrated in May, and this one is gonna be a really bright and fun theme, provided you're using a typically lemon color palette. Being an organic thing, lemons are a quite forgiving shape, it's effectively just kind of an oval shape with a little bump on either end. And then of course some leaves to give you some contrast in your color palette. Lemon themes that I've previously seen also typically include citrus slices, which are another nice and simple shape to draw because it's effectively just a circle that you cut into segments. I have previously done a citrus theme in a giveaway journal that we set up. And while it wasn't actually colored in, it might give you some ideas of how you could use lemons and other citrus fruits to decorate your journal. That one, along with any other related videos, is found in the description box below. Up next though, we have a turtles theme, and this isn't necessarily a color palette that you may typically associate with turtles. Oftentimes when I think of turtles that are more cartoony, like the one we have here, I'm usually thinking green, but I wanted a color palette that was going to kind of represent real life sea turtles, and then also the colors associated with the ocean to go with it. I will say that when coloring this one in, I think my turtles arms, legs, and face ended up a little bit darker than I had initially intended, but I think it would be really cute to have like a little diverse turtles kind of theme, where you have lots of different colored turtles with different shell designs and all of that kind of thing. Of course, just like we mentioned for the irises theme, you can either do it in a more simplified way, so like a cartoony kind of turtle that we've got here, or you could go a little bit more realistic in your decorations. Now, I couldn't do a May journal theme ideas list without including Star Wars because of May the 4th be with you, and also Revenge of the 5th. Star Wars is a theme that I've done in a previous journal setup, in fact from May last year, but this wasn't my journal, it was Bogle's, my partner. For the decoration on this one, this is another time where I whipped out that little faux memo printer because I didn't really want to try and draw a scene from Star Wars myself, and I found this very cute Lego Star Wars coloring page. All of the decorative elements that I printed off on that mini printer for this video have just been me Google searching theme coloring pages. So Star Wars coloring pages. 
irises coloring pages. It's a nice way to find simple line work that you can just print off and stick in. In terms of the Star Wars color palette, it really depends on which parts of Star Wars you're focusing on as to which colors you're going to use. The colors that I put in this color palette were just related to the black and yellow that you have in the kind of like Star Wars opening scene, you know, with the yellow text scrolling off into the distance, and then a color for each of the lightsabers. But of course, then when it came to coloring in Obi-Wan, I really needed some browns, but hopefully you kind of get the idea. It also goes with without saying that color palettes don't just have to have five colors, and they may not even have five colors. For instance, this month I'm using a black, white, and gray color palette, which is only three colors. Our next theme idea though, I think would be a really fun one, and this is related to Mini Golf Day, or more specifically, National Mini Golf Day, which is on May 13th in the US. If you're thinking of Worldwide Mini Golf Day, it's technically in September, but I do think this would be a really fun theme, especially because you can find a whole bunch of different types of themed mini golf places. For instance, when we were over in the US, Vogue and I did Aliens themed mini golf, and we also did Haunted House themed mini golf, both of which were very fun. And it was actually the first time I won, so, you know, I'm kind of proud of me too. <laughs> the decoration style on this one may seem a bit familiar, especially if you've heard of the Coffee Monsters Co. or Once More with Love. I do find their sticker characters to be very similar in design, and I figured for the people-based theme ideas that we have in this video, or at least for the ones I was drawing in, I'd use that as inspiration. I like the kind of big head and simplified body design, it's just quite easy to draw. A theme that I would be very keen to do for myself one day, because they are my favorite animal, is a snail's theme. One of the things that's held me back from doing a snail's theme though is that typically when I think of snails, I think of browns, and brown isn't usually my go-to color palette. So for the color palette suggestion on this one, I wanted to use some rich jewel colors. So like a rich red, a rich brown, a dark teal kind of color, a darker purple because as you and I both know, things don't have to be super realistic when you're putting them into your journal. We can have stylized or more decorative versions of things. So for this snail, I wanted them to have a nice rich colored shell. I mean, I think that you technically can find bright colored snails in the wild. So possibly when I do a snail's theme, maybe I'll go and look up some pictures of those for inspiration. I'd love to know though, what's your favorite animal and have you done a bullet journal theme on it? Let me know in the comments. Our next theme idea is related to Dracula Day, which is also celebrated in May, but this one is a vampire's theme. You could technically make it Dracula specifically, but I decided to make it a little broader and just go with vampires. And of course, if you're doing a vampire's theme, make sure that you get out your glitter or your glitter pen because that's what they're supposed to look like, yeah? I know Twilight got a lot of hate, but I actually quite like Twilight. It was just like a good time. Like, you know going into it that it's not a literary masterpiece, but it's just a bit of fun. I'm also very much of the opinion of like, let's just let people enjoy things, and if they like Twilight, then more power to them. You can see from our little vampires here, they are again very inspired by the Coffee Monsters Co. design, and I've got a link to the Coffee Monsters Co. in the description box too. Our next theme idea is very much one that I've wanted to do for a while and I still find too intimidating, which is a space or galaxy theme. The thing with doing a galaxy theme in particular is that I really just want to do it justice, and I don't think that at this stage I am artistically able to realize my vision yet, if that kind of makes sense. Though I do think I did a pretty okay job of it here. So just putting down a whole bunch of the different areas of Tombow and then using a little bit of water on a paintbrush to kind of blend them together as best as you can in this kind of notebook. And I do really wish that I had have gone over the top and put some stars in because I forgot to do that. So it kind of just looks like a dark abyss, but that's okay. It's kind of what space is in my mind. Space freaks me out. Not as much as the ocean freaks me out, but still. The background was only part of this though, because as well as Space Day being celebrated in May, we also have Astronauts Day. So I wanted to put an astronaut over the top so that you kind of got more of the space vibes. This is another one where the faux memo printer came in handy because I didn't want to draw an astronaut. That was going to be a little bit too much effort on my part. Again, I found this one just by searching astronaut coloring in page and using one of those. Our next theme idea is one that feels a little bit closer to home because I am Australian, and that is a koalas theme. Koalas are super cute, not to be confused with drop bears, which are slightly less cute and a lot more terrifying and a lot more not real, but anywho. If you don't know, drop bears are kind of like a mythical creature, I suppose you could say, that was kind of intended to scare tourists. It's essentially like a rabid koala is the idea, but they don't really exist. 
unlike bunyips, which totally exist. This is another one I decided to draw in a little bit more cartoony in style. And I also included a eucalyptus type green in the color palette so that you could draw eucalyptus leaves as part of the setup too. They'd be a good element to use to fill in smaller spaces and kind of sprinkle around the page for some extra decoration. There seem to be a lot of animal and plant celebrations in May, whether that be days or weeks or the whole month. And another one that's related to that is National Strawberry Month, which is celebrated in May in the US. I don't really think of May as a typical strawberry time of year, mainly because strawberries for me are a summer fruit, and summer for me is in December through to February, but strawberries would make a great theme. These are another one that are fairly easy to draw. It's effectively just a rounded triangle with some green on top. And you could go for the typical red for the strawberries, or you could use a darker pink if you wanted to have something a little bit different. I find that a lot of artificially flavored strawberry things are pink, so I still think it fits. One of the touches that I would encourage you to remember if you wanna go with a strawberry theme is putting the seeds on the outside. And while the seeds of a strawberry are kind of like a light yellow color, rather than going in and putting all the light yellow dots in first and then having to color around them with the red, you could either use a gel pen to sit on top of your coloring in, or what I did was just draw some little black U shapes to represent the seeds, because that was a bit easier. Maybe we could again just combine it with Lemonade Day and make it a strawberry lemonade theme. Up next though, another theme that I have previously done in my journal, and that is a bees theme. Now I do wish that when I did my bees theme, I drew them a little bit more like this, because I thought that my bees ended up looking not strange, just not as good as they could have, effectively. Though I did very much enjoy doing the kind of yellow honeycomb background when I did my bees theme. I haven't put it into this decoration space, but you can go and check out my video, which is, of course, linked in the description box if you're keen. Bees make for a super cute theme though, and I love drawing the little dashed lines to represent their flight path. I just think it's very cute. Now, when I was looking through the list of days of recognition and holidays and whatever for May, one in particular stood out as, and that was Zombie Awareness Month. <laughs> the description said, Zombie Awareness Month is celebrated every May in the US to raise awareness about the possibility of a zombie apocalypse and what we should do in such a situation. I'm not gonna lie, like most of my nightmares that I have, like when I have nightmares, feature zombies. And I think it's probably because I feel like it's one of the most realistic horror things that could happen. Like not to say that I genuinely 100% believe that the zombie apocalypse is gonna happen, but like I could see it happening, you know? For the zombies in our decoration though, I wanted to keep them again a little bit fun. So I just used the plants versus zombies kind of zombies. Again, just found these by looking up zombie coloring page. When I think about those kind of zombies, I'm thinking more kind of like muted greens and blues, kind of like that undead color palette. Whereas if you're going more gory zombies, you might be thinking red, other colors associated with bodily organs. Yeah. Hopefully these 12 ideas though have given you some inspiration, but if you are still on the hunt for a theme for next month, be sure to check out the playlist we have on screen here with all of my previous theme idea videos. Click or tap on that one and I'll see you over there.